am in the city of light, better known as Banaras. And I'm here at the Vyayam Shala, where the people come here after their morning snan for a bit of a workout, which is followed by a sumptuous breakfast further down the road. And in this episode, I'm going to take you through the sights and sounds of this wonderful city in what is known as the Banaras Utsav. Varanasi has many names and each of them has a story that connects this most ancient of Indian cities to the beginning of time. Time in fact takes on a whole different meaning as you walk around the older parts of Banaras. It's almost as if many different centuries are happily existing side by side. The bylanes of Kashi are a world in themselves as they conjure up an idea of India with all its beauty and its contradictions. The gullies or the bylanes of Banaras in a way bear the quintessence of the city. And if you've been to Banaras and haven't been to one of the gullies, then you've missed a big slice of the city. The Banaras state of mind has been attracting saints, poets, singers, musicians, dancers, writers and artists from as long as the city can trace its history. Among the leading lights who have left their mark on Kashi are names such as Gautam Buddha, Kabir, Tulsidas, Ravidas, Bhartendu Harishchandra, Munshi Premchand, Pandit Ravi Shankar, Ustad Bismillah Khan, Siddheshwari Devi and Girija Devi to name just a few. American author Mark Twain has famously called Banaras older than history, older than tradition and even older than legend. Much later, beat boys like Allen Ginsberg would introduce Banaras to generations of hippies in search of meaning, nirvana and moksha. It was the 60s at the height of the hippie movement when Banaras was suddenly put on the international map, when a lot of artists and writers were seeking Banaras out to make it their creative inspiration. And since then, the shopkeepers here have been gearing themselves to attract the international tourist. As dawn breaks in the city, one place that the locals love to visit is the breakfast joint, where they can indulge themselves in the scrumptious Banarsi breakfast. It's hard to say just how many visitors to this city can actually resist the temptation of having an early morning feast. Especially one that has just emerged from the depths of a deep frying karhai. Much before the phrase breakfast like a king came into being, Banarsis were already in favour. They actually knew the importance of a good breakfast. And having a Banasi breakfast is a typical way of how the local people start their days. They go for an early morning dip at the ghat and then come here straight off to have this sumptuous breakfast. Before me, it's a typical Banasi breakfast which consists of a sabzi, which is usually an alu ki sabzi, chola, dal kachori, puri and this lovely floral jalebi. But as Jesus Christ famously said, man shall not live by bread alone. There is no shortage of otherworldly food in Anandavan, meaning the forest of bliss, which is another name for Banaras. This feeling is inescapable at the ghats of the city, which according to belief is a portal to the afterlife, that is, free from the cycles of death and rebirth. It is this spirit of Banaras that the first ever Banaras Utsav seeks to explore and celebrate. The Utsav was inaugurated by Lok Sabha speaker Meera Kumar, who in her address threw some light on the significance of Kashi in Indian thought and literature. So, this is Varanasi. This is Shivki Dagari. And its six names. I think there will be many names, but I have learned from six names. एक तो वरुणा और ऐसी के समिश्रण से प्रवाह से मिलकर बनी है के तट पर बनी है वाराणसी फिर आप अगर 
रात में रेल से जा रहे हैं और मालवीय सेतु से तो आप देखेंगे ये पूरी विद्युत जगमग करती है काशी जैसे शिव के मुकुट पर शिव के जटाजूत में अर्धचंद्र सजा हो तो वैसी जगमग करने वाली ये काशी है इसका नाम है काशी और इसका नाम है काशिका और इसे शिव ने कभी नहीं त्यागा ये शिव की नगरी है अभी इसे छोड़कर गए ही नहीं इसीलिए इसका नाम है अभिमुक्ता और क्योंकि शिव यहाँ हमेशा रहे ऐसी मान्यता है गहरी मान्यता है इसका नाम है रुद्रवासा और शिव कौन है शिव तो नृत्य और गायन के देवता हैं आनंद के देवता हैं इसलिए काशी का नाम आनंद वन है The idea of the Utsa was to create a confluence of many expressions of India's heart and soul. Among the many artists, musicians and writers who were part of the Utsa, Jadindas probably had the longest relationship with the city. Jadinda as he is popularly known is one of India's foremost figurative painter and sculptor. I asked him what made Banaras the city such a hub of arts music and culture and he told me that the city was in a way the personification of all of India's arts and aesthetic sensibilities Banaras or Puri or in any traditional ancient town will have a little door to enter when you bow down and you enter and that itself gives you a humility the entering somebody's private space okay when you enter the little corridor and then gradually to a angan a inner courtyard then there are rooms then you go through an another courtyard and then suddenly you realize this is not a little door that you entered and you uh, discover and get surprises in that home likewise so somebody will receive you maybe the father the servant then the father then the family then you are given asan to sit down you are given some water then you are given a meal and things like that so everything reveals gradually they don't pounce on you so this is metaphorically an example to art also right if you listen to classical music they do alap and then gradually uh, engulf you can you encourage you to appreciate so music so it requires certain amount of immersion into it and then only everything needs it like emotion itself. time yes yes as a city banaras is always on display if not for the benefit of religious pilgrims then to the awestruck delight of tourists and of all the places in the city the ghats are the most visited and the most photographed but unlike the city their beauty and grandeur is not eternal and so it requires constant reinterpretations sometimes this reinterpretation of traditional architecture and aesthetics comes from those trained in modern and contemporary art I met artist and BHU faculty Suresh Nair who's been decorating traditional temples with his own contemporary murals. The amazing thing about Banaras is that it has something for everyone, for the aesthete, for the devotee and for the general tourist. This one for example is called Lolar Kund. It's a step well that is really old and renovated probably in um, the 1900s by the Kuch Bihar state. Belief is that women desirous of children come here and if they have a dip over here their desire to have a child is fulfilled i have with me suresh nair who is a faculty at the banaras hindu university and he's brought brought a touch of contemporary art to this place by making a mural you specialize in murals yes, and you made a mural at this temple tell me what made you choose this place actually you know this uh, architecture is very important and i came to know the history of this space so then i thought that using 
those history and those elements in my work on the wall so and i am getting a uh, one more space already have done one space and one more big space i am getting here so again thinking that using these elements and the history and some kind of traditional ideology so the history of the place that it's sacred to women who uh, want children affected your conception of the work did it yes uh if you see in banaras there are so many each each building have each each temple have their own history so then i thought that to study about this history and the elements even the uh, women and i started doing drawings also when they come and you know how what, what, how they you know do and means removing their dress and all so in a sense my work is a documentation of you know uh, all these uh, practices or rituals and then not only these temples we are, i am also doing different temples and the schools and different public and private spaces so in the future the city is known as mural city too it, it looks like a, a piece that would have existed in the south yeah yeah so since you yourself are from kerala yeah Uh, does your work in form uh, have southern sensibilities yes, yes, and you are yes. trying to sort of transpose them here yeah. in the context of banaras exactly and how how have It's you succeeded I, I, how I, do people respond to it yeah 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 actually what i noticed that uh, most of the, i studied kerala murals mm. kerala traditional murals it is ma- mainly done in temples and palaces and churches so this idea is very much suitable with banaras then i thought that that idea i can keep here in a different way and most of the kerala murals done inside the temples but here i taken to outside mm. and so are they done in stone or they are done in cement no it is natural colors okay okay natural colors on the wall no but is it like carved in stone or uh, it is also done in cement no there is no cement this is i just okay. i made so I the I cement part here is your sort of yes uh, i say that is my innovation <laughs> yeah innovation <laughs> जो कोई तुमको मन वांछित फल पाता As much as the Ghats are known for their evening aartis, they are also famous for hosting performances that capture the imagination of the audience by the sheer force of their stories. Ram ki Shakti Puja had us captivated by its change of scenes and its fine lighting. <laughs> I also had the unique opportunity of sitting at Assi Ghat and listening to Rajan and Sajan Mishra famous khayal singers of the Banaras gharana it was truly a once in a lifetime moment for a non banarsi like me
music that is the life and soul of Banaras is also a lot like the city. The khayal singing of the Banaras Gharana has its own sweetness and idiosyncrasies. These are closely related with the great lord and master of the Hindu trinity, Mahadev. India's unfathomable love and devotion for Bholenath or the innocent lord is largely due to his charming ways that make no distinction between the haves and the have-nots. This love for all flavor is amply reflected in local musicians too. Singer and musicologist Dr. Revati Sakalkar explained to me the finer nuances of her gharana. Banaras ka jo sangeet hai, wo jahaan apni atma ke liye jana jata hai, wahi aap dekhenge ki yahaan ke kalakwaro mein ek ajeeb phakkad pan. Aur kabhi bhi unke sar jo kehte hain garv nahi chada. Bahut bade bade manchon mein unki prasutiyan hui. मैं आपको बहुत सारे नाम बता सकती हूँ उस्ताद बिस्मिल्लाह खान साहब पद्म भूषण गिरजा देवी जी राजन साजन मिश्र जी पंडित किशन महाराज जी पंडित सामता प्रसाद जी परंतु आप देखिए कि पंडित छनुलाल मिश्र जी परंतु कहीं से भी आप देखेंगे कि उनमें बहुत सिंपलिसिटी नजर आती है जो कि अपने आप में एक बड़ी सुने से जुपे जाना मुझे One person who's made the Lord of Kashi, better known as Mahadev or Shiva, famous all over the world in recent times, is writer Amish Tripathi. The author of the best-selling Shiva trilogy, Tripathi grew up in Banaras but now lives in Mumbai. He spoke at length about what really inspired him to leave his banker's job and write his own interpretation of Shiva's epic life. I honestly cannot explain. I just open the laptop and they start their magic and words come. This is all their grace, their miracle, their miracle. And I always say that if I can write like a person, then anyone can write like a person. So this is the first thing. If you want to see the miracle of Shiv Ji, then look at me. The second thing, I want to say this, because some people send me emails, send me emails, some people send me to events, कि क्या मैं मानता हूं कि शिवजी सुप्रीम भगवान है कि बाप ही भगवान नहीं शिवजी सुप्रीम भगवान है कई लोग मुझसे ये पूछते हैं क्या मैं ऐसी बात मानता हूं और मेरा जवाब ये है अगर आप मुझे इजाजत दें तो मैं ऋग्वेद हमारा जो ओरिजिनल स्क्रिप्चर है ऋग्वेद से कुछ कोट करूंगा एक बड़ा सुंदर लाइन है ऋग्वेद में एकम सत विप्र बहुत वदंती ट्रूथ इज वन बट द वाइज मैन स्पीक इट एज मैनी It's a beautiful line from the Rigveda, and if you understand this, what is trying to say is, "Ha, Bhagwan, ek hai, 
लेकिन इनके रूप अलग अलग हैं कुछ लोगों को शिव जी दिखते हैं जैसे मैं हूं कुछ लोगों को विष्णु भगवान दिखते हैं कुछ लोगों को शक्ति माँ दिखते हैं कुछ लोग को जीसस क्राइस्ट दिखते हैं कुछ लोग को अल्लाह दिखते हैं कुछ लोग को अहूरा माजदा दिखते हैं लेकिन हमारा नजरिया अलग होगा लेकिन भगवान एक ही है तो भाई ये बात पूछना कि क्या ये भगवान सुप्रीम है या वो भगवान सुप्रीम है ये एक्चुअली गलत सवाल होगा आपको ये पूछना भाई चाहिए कि कहाँ पे भगवान नहीं है हर जगह में भगवान है और भगवान हमको अलग अलग रूप में आते हैं क्योंकि हम लोग अलग अलग हैं हर इंसान को अलग रूप भगवान का चाहिए क्योंकि हम अलग अलग हैं समन हु स्ट्रिल्ड हिंदी सिनेमा फैंस विद इज कीन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द इंडियन माइंड and its peculiar sense of humor is poet lyricist and film director gulzar adhuri nazm rakhi hai kaise kaise adhuri reh jati hai nazm kuhe mein dol duba aur phir upar nahi aaya gira hi khul gayi uski adhuri nazm rakhi hai acha lapak ke mod tak bhaga mein bas ek darwaza dekha hil raha tha wo phir bahar nahi aayi अधूरी नज्म रखी है अ रीसेंट ऑस्कर विनर फॉर हिज स्कोर इन स्लम डॉग मिलियनर गुलजार एक्सप्रेस्ड हिज डिसप्लेजर एट द फैक्ट दैट इंडियंस कुड नॉट रीड ईच अदर्स लिटरेचर बिकॉज ऑफ अ शॉर्टेज ऑफ ट्रांसलेशंस ये मैं आपसे कहना चाहता हूं कि शायद ये गुलजार साहब अगर गलत हूं तो करेक्ट कीजिएगा ये पहली बार है कि एक मेजर लिटरी इवेंट में गुलजार साहब खासी पोइट्री पढ़ रहे हैं नॉर्थ ईस्ट की पोइट्री पढ़ रहे हैं जिसका तर्जुमा उन्होंने किया है बनारस उत्सव इसको याद रखेगा क्योंकि इट कनोट सच अ डीप लव अफेक्शन एंड रिस्पेक्ट फॉर आर ओन लैंग्वेजेस and he is like a school boy khud bhi aur baatte rehne se seekhte hain aur main aapko is collection ka naam bhi hai poem a day ki main aapko 400 nazme har tarah ke shayar har zaban se aapke samne pesh karunga kyunki dawn subah ki pau jo phatti hai wo kya bandooqon ki aawaz se phatti hai ab नहीं वो उस पंछी के रोने से फटती है जो सारी रात तारीकी चबाता है अंधेरे चबाता है जो सारी रात तारीकी चबाता है जो अपनी चोंच से शब भर तारीकी चबाता रहता है चबाता रहता है तब वो पौ फटा करती है बड़ी इंटेंस पोइट्री है जो नॉर्थ ईस्ट की तरफ हो रही है Pasa Gulzar's celebrated play inspired by the Mahabharat was another highlight of the utsav as it brought out the inner life of Indian literary traditions that dated back to prehistory. surprise element to an utsav dedicated to the spirit of banaras 
and by extension India was a rock concert, but few in the city were surprised. As these kind of syncretic experiments are actually an embodiment of the city's legendary spirit.
the amazing thing about Banaras is that it can bear within it a lot of contradictions. So what started out with the traditional lighting of the lamp is coming to an end with a rock concert. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of ours. Until the next time, this is me, Dheerat Singh, saying thanks for watching. Namaskar.